What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to animate a title within DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Titles are one of those things that is just an endless cycle of learning new animations, new styles of doing things, new lower thirds, new main titles. I know a lot of these editing platforms come with built-in titles, but there's something specific about building your own. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's jump inside DaVinci Resolve and we'll go from there. So the first thing we need to do is create a fusion composition. So in our edit page, we're gonna go to effects libraries. We're gonna go to the effects tab, fusion composition. We're gonna grab that drop it in right here it's going to automatically make it five seconds you can make this longer of course but for this tutorial this will work just fine i do recommend if you're going to make this longer make sure you do it before you drag this into fusion because sometimes it'll mess up your keyframes and animation not always but it is something to keep in mind once we're inside fusion we're going to grab this media out we're going to drag it over here just for the time being we need to create a background so we're going to hit the background node right there or you can hit shift space bar and you can bring up anything you're looking for but i'm just going to use these shortcuts up here that help a lot of the time i'm going to drag this up here so we can see i'm going to make this a little bit bigger you can also hit one or two on that depending on what you need you can do dual monitors but we don't need that at the time being i am going to turn the alpha down on that background a little bit so i can see a little bit better now what we need to do is we need to create our box that our texts are gonna be inside. So I'm gonna click this little paintbrush right here to add a paint node connected to my background node. And in here, I'm gonna click on this little squiggly line, the polyline stroke. I'm gonna click on that. Without doing anything, I'm gonna hover over this green circle right in the middle. I'm gonna right click right in the middle. I'm gonna go down to polyline and I'm gonna go down here to create, and we're gonna add a rectangle. All the dimensions should be fine, so I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna grab paint, bring it up here so we can see it. Uh, I am gonna do some things, tweak some things here inside the paint node. So under the brush controls, we are gonna actually hit the square to make it sharper, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I think that looks pretty good. I am gonna change the color though, so under apply controls, I'm gonna go to a more bluish green. I think that looks pretty good right there. Sure, I can live with that. Now we need to start animating this. So under stroke controls, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide all the way over here. I think I'm gonna do 48 frames because that's two seconds because I'm doing 24 frames. Make sure you do the math depending on what you're doing. If you're doing this in 30 frames, make sure your timeline is 30 frames, uh, so on and so forth. I am gonna add a keyframe right here on right on at the 48 mark. I'm gonna go right back to the beginning and I am gonna grab the right on and I'm gonna slide it down. That way it will add a keyframe and now we can see it draws on. I am gonna smooth that out though. So we're gonna click on the spline up here at the top. Make sure poly stroke is selected. Make sure we hit this little arrow to make everything fit. I'm gonna highlight all four of those and I am going to smooth it out just like that. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks much better. Now what we need to do is actually animate the rectangle turning. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna Y click on the paint node. We're gonna hit a transform node right here. I'm gonna click on the transform node. I'm going to add a keyframe at 48 on size and angle. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna mess with the angle. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna turn the size down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Play that through. Yeah, I'm liking that. Now we need to smooth this box out also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unclick those because we don't need those. I'm gonna make sure those are highlighted and I'm gonna do the same thing. Smooth it out just like that. See what that looks like. Yeah, I think that looks good. I might change that a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. We're gonna uncheck that spline. We don't need that anymore. I'm gonna click on the background because this is starting to drive me nuts. I'm gonna turn the alpha all the way down. Now, if we play it through, now what we need to do is create the second box. You can leave it as one box if you prefer it. I just like the look of the two lined box. I think it fits the style I'm going for. So the easiest way to do that is just highlight all of these boxes right here on a Mac. I hit Command C, click off of them, Command V, bring it over here. 
Now I need to merge these two together. So I'm gonna add a merge right here. I'm gonna click that there and also click that one there. Grab the merge, bring it up to the top. If I wanna change the paint color of one of them, all I'm gonna do is go right here on the paint, make sure I'm under the modifiers, apply controls, and I'm gonna darken it a little bit. You can't see anything because it's hiding behind it. So what we're gonna do is click on the transform on the center. I'm gonna bring it over a little bit and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Play that through, see if you like it, if you wanna tweak with anything, colors, keyframes before you move on. I do think I want to see what it looks like having this blue line coming just a few seconds after. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get somewhere where I can see it. We'll do eight frames right there. I'm gonna do the paint node right here. We're gonna go under modifiers. Let me get both of these out of the way. On the right on, we are gonna add a keyframe right here. We're gonna go back to the beginning and we're gonna uncheck that keyframe. Go back to that one and turn it down. Yeah, now if we play that through, it kind of has this little delayed reaction and I think that looks much better. That step is definitely not necessary. I just like fine tuning things and having some details changed throughout it so it doesn't look like we copied and pasted everything. Um, the viewer will have no clue when you're done with it. The next thing we need to do is start adding some text. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all these, move it over here out of the way just for a minute. We are going to add a text by clicking the text node or you can again hit shift spacebar and bring up text that way. I'm gonna bring that up to the top so we can see. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my name because that will work. I'm gonna highlight that. The text that I chose was game over. I'm gonna size that up a little bit and I'm gonna anchor it to the left side. I think that looks good. I'm gonna hit command C again, command V. I need to merge these two so I can see what's going on. So I'm gonna click on the text number one. I'm gonna merge it. I'm gonna connect that one there and bring the merge there so we can see both of them. I'm gonna click on text number one and I'm gonna change that to Haynes. I'm gonna grab the arrows right here and bring it down. You can rename these by right clicking on it, going to rename. I do recommend it. It will make your life way easier. So you're not looking at text one, text two, text three, you know, transform one, two or three. It will help a lot in the long run. I've just done this so many times that I don't name them. And it does wind up kind of kicking you in the butt later when you go to tweak things and you haven't messed with it for a while. So I do recommend right clicking on it or F2 on a Mac and you can rename your nodes. Now what we need to do is connect the title to the boxes. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a transform node first so I can animate those in a little bit, but I need to add another merge here to connect these two so my text don't fall behind. I'm gonna grab that merge, connect it there, bring that merge up here, and now we can see everything is in its place. Now that we got that connected, I'm gonna move this up and over. I'm gonna size that down just a little bit. It's a little too big. I think that looks pretty good right there. Now what we need to do is animate this. So I'm gonna to go to 46 frames. I'm gonna add a keyframe on size and angle. I'm gonna go back a little bit, just like a few frames. I'm gonna turn the angle a little bit and I'm gonna size down just a little bit, just to have just a little something there. I think that looks pretty good. I do need to smooth that out, so I'm gonna click on the transform, go to the spline. I know it looks kind of crazy because we have everything going on. So what we, an easy way to get rid of it is just unclick everything. It's a lot easier to see. Transform two is what I actually need. So let me highlight that so I can see everything. Smooth it out. I wanna add one last thing. So I'm gonna click on the Josh text. I'm gonna to go to the 40 marker. I'm gonna go over here to the right on, I'm gonna add a keyframe at 40, and I'm gonna go to 44, I think looks good. Add another keyframe, I'm gonna go back to the 40, and I'm gonna drag the right on down. Click on the Hanes, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but make sure we're on the text page. Add a keyframe, go over the 44, actually let's do 45. 
go back to 40, drag the right on down, and then play that through. Yeah, that looks good. The last thing I wanna do is add a color shift to the box when it's turning, just to kind of push it over the top. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna slide these over out of the way. I'm gonna click on the merge so it's right after all these boxes, so it will affect all of them. And we're gonna click right here on color corrector. Again, you can hit shift space bar if you need to look for it that way. We're gonna go the 42 frames and we're gonna add a keyframe on hue and we're gonna change the tent mode to full. We're also gonna add a keyframe on that. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, maybe one frame over just so I can see that I'm actually changing things. And I'm gonna slide that all the way to the left that way it will cycle through the colors. Overall, I think that adds just a pop of color to the whole thing. You can jump back into the edit page. You could tweak this however you want. You could make it big in the middle like we did at the beginning. You can make it smaller in the bottom for a lower third. Really, you can do whatever you want to this. That's why I did the background as a transparent background. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned a lot. Let me know in the comments below. Did you learn something? Do you like it? What's some other tutorials you wanna see coming out? Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. We're almost at 10K, y'all. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. Peace.